Now, we know that a lot of us are moving into this whole idea of being a little bit better with the earth and having a little bit more green surrounding us. Green roofs are one way that you can do that. Absolutely. What we're seeing in backyards, especially if you've put a lot of patios in, yeah. we're actually raising the temperatures of our backyards across North America by 10 degrees. Oh, wow. Because we have all these surfaces that are holding heat. Now, your roof is a great opportunity to do something a little bit different, and people are making it easier for us now. Okay. So I'm going to show you the easiest ways to green either a shed, a birdhouse, or Ooh, your house. Shed. Yeah, absolutely. Good idea. So this is one option. This is a green roof mat. Okay. Now what this is is it's sedum. Now I know you can't really see the sedum. Okay. There had to be a little punny there, right? But they're <laughs> starting to come up. So there's some little guys coming up right here. And I'm going to roll it the other way, Tracy. I'm going to yep. let everybody see this. So you can see those little green shoots. This will whole thing will turn green in about the next week or so as oh, it cool. warms up. But on the bottom side, as I flip this up, there are you bugs. Can see, no, there yeah, there's bugs. <laughs> I'm always freaked out when he's here. I'm you like, what are we going to see? Yeah, you can see this whole thing is a blended mat. Right. So this mat, as a unit, can be put right on top of your shed roof. Oh, that's great. No that's soil, easy. no nothing, you're done. And garden centers are starting to carry this. So you mm -hmm. can actually buy this for the square footage of your shed. Uh -huh. And literally, you're just going to cut into it with a pair of scissors like that. You're not hurting anything. Yeah. And you're just going to cut out the patch that you need. And then you can actually put this on your birdhouse. You can put it anywhere you need it, and you're done. So what about maintenance now? So it's up there, and then what are you doing? You're watering your roof? So no, that's the beauty. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, you just get a hose. And you just, no. So that's the beauty of sedum. And that's why we want to use sedums versus other types of meadow plants. Okay. Sedum require no water. Oh. This is from the tundra. This is from way ah. up north, from Alaska, from the Northwest Territories. That's where you're going to find this type of uh, natural plant growing. Right. So they brought it down to, for the rest of us to use because it's so low maintenance. can handle the heat, doesn't need a lot of sun. Mm -hmm. Or it can handle full sun, yeah. doesn't need a lot of rain. That's beautiful. Super easy. That so is great. Another version of sedum, though, that you might be more familiar with is this style here. That is gorgeous. Now, I love this. I picked this up at Terra Greenhouses at a garden center. Uh -huh. Pre-made. It's a, literally a panel that can just be dropped into wherever beautiful. you need it. Isn't that stunning? But I'm going to show you how you did the, how they did this so you can make it at home. Okay. Well, okay, Tracy's not going to make it at home, but I might <laughs> make me, it at home. Exactly. But you can make so it at home. Literally, this is just a tabletop tray. Yep. That's all it is. They filled it with moss. moss. Uh-huh. Put a piece of burlap on top. Okay. Cut holes and put the sedums through it. And oh. those will actually root directly into the moss. And this thing has been around for about two months and it started to flower. Oh, Isn't that's that amazing? Beautiful. So easy, so gorgeous, so good for the environment. Okay, and okay? this is going to be like self sustaining, also fairly low maintenance. You're going to put this on the roof of your shed yeah. or anywhere you want it, a tabletop even. Yeah. Don't touch it. Just leave it alone great. all winter long. It can freeze solid. It doesn't matter. These plants are great at that. So if you live in cold climates, mm -hmm. fantastic. If you're in hot climates, I mean, we see these all the time in California the right. sedums and the cactus, the succulents are designed to hold heat. So they're great. They're like the easiest plant. No fail. Nice. Which is why. These are good magic words. Magic words, yes. Mm, no fail for no Tracy. Fail. Which is why I put it on my little birdhouse. Oh, nice. Isn't that adorable? Can you see that? So, all so I did, sweet. yeah, all I did was frame out the side of one of the roofs. Oh, that's and lovely. And I filled it with sedum. And this will literally grow. So two weeks ago I did this, mm -hmm. and they were all kind of laying flat. And I'm going to show everybody how to do it. Laying flat. By today, they're all standing up. Okay. So they do all the work for you. You don't have to worry about it. It's so simple. Really, all you're going to do, and I'm moving this back over here, and I've got some cute little sedums. You put this panel on it. I put, yeah. This so fabric. I, I framed it out. This is just a piece of filter cloth. Okay. Okay, just so that the soil doesn't hurt the wood of the birdhouse, right? right. We can change it up. And then, literally, all you're going to do is take your little sedums, and you're just going to lay them down like this. Oh, okay. And you're going to stack them. Yeah. As you stack along and you're making your little row, what's going to happen is these little guys are going to stand upright and chase the sun. They're going to stand up oh, so you don't have to do any of the work. Oh, they're just going to do that yeah. anyway. So I tuck a few in like this. And again, and it sounds really bad, abuse your plants, people. Why? They're happier if, they're, if you uh, rough up the roots. So literally, oh, Tracy, like do rip off the bottom. Yeah, okay. stick them in between there. Now it's not going to look as good in the beginning. Right. So the way you're going to cheat that is you're going to use some of our trusty moss. And moss, fill in the little spaces. Moss hides everything in gardening. Okay. Secret for everybody to know, absolutely. I so love you're going to fill in all the spaces. Once you're done, honestly, two weeks later, oh, Trace, you're doing a good job. Thank you. That's fantastic. Look at this. How come so surprised? Yes. It's like it's like a zen moment for you. But literally, <laughs> once you're done filling that out, yeah. within a week, you're going to end up with this because you can see there's the moss, there's the sedums, all filled out. 
beautiful little birdhouse. That is gorgeous. Even if the birds don't even use the house, who cares? It's Still not even good. a little birdhouse. This is like a high-end condo. Like, I sort of want to move in there. Well, That's was, a very nice it house. It had to go to my house, you of know, so it's got it like did. really good. 